a student is asked to calculate delta H at 25 degrees Celsius for the combustion of butan 1 ol. The teacher provides two pieces of information. The equation for the combustion of butan 1 ol, standard entropies of butan 1 ol, oxygen, carbon dioxide and water. The student carries out an experiment using the apparatus below and obtains the following results. The specific heat capacity of water is 4.18 joules per gram per Kelvin. Use the information on the previous page to calculate delta G in kilojoules per mole for the combustion of butan 1 ol according to equation 2 at 25 degrees Celsius. Show all your working. Firstly, let's highlight the key pieces of information. Our first key piece of information is equation 2. And then our second key piece of information is our standard entropies of butan 1 ol, oxygen, carbon dioxide and water. Also, the specific heat capacity of water and the volume of water that we're using in this experiment. Then the experimental data, specifically the initial and the maximum temperature, are going to be really important in our first step. And then the masses of the burner before burning and after burning are going to be useful in our second step. And then we need to note that we're working out delta G in kilojoules per mole. Firstly, let's work out the energy, or Q, in joules and then convert to kilojoules per mole. And Q equals MC delta T. So we can work out Q because we've got the mass of water is 100 centimetres cubed or 100 grams. And then we're going to multiply by 4.18, which is the specific heat capacity of water, or C, and then multiply by delta T, which is equal to 39 minus 18.5. And that's going to give us a Q value of 8,569 joules. And that equals 8.569 kilojoules. Using the equation triangle of mass divided by moles times relative formula mass, we can work out the moles of butan 1 ol. But first, working out its mass, we're going to need the information in the table here, and we're going to minus the two masses. So it's going to be 98.997 minus 98.738, and that is equal to 0.259 grams of butan 1 ol. And then we're going to work out the relative formula mass of butan 1 ol, which is going to be 12 times 4 plus 10 plus 16, which is equal to 74 grams per mole. And then using the equation triangle, we can do 0 0.259 divided by 74, and that is equal to 3.5 times 10 to the negative 3 moles of butan 1 ol, which we can then use later on in the question. So the next part is working out delta S. Because in order to work out delta G, we need the equation delta G equals delta H minus T delta S. And delta S is the change in entropies. And it has the equation of delta S equals delta S of products minus the delta S of reactants. So this is going to be equal, or our delta S is going to be equal to 4 times 214 plus 5 times 70 minus 228 plus 6 times 205. And that gives us a delta S value of minus 252 joules per Kelvin per mole, which can then be converted to kilojoules per Kelvin per mole, and that would be minus 0 0.252 kilojoules per Kelvin per mole. And now, working out delta G with all the information, we need delta 
h and we can work out delta h using our q value of energy and our moles so delta h is equal to 8.569 divided by 3.5 times 10 to the negative 3 and that equals minus 2448 kilojoules per mole. So then delta G is going to be minus 2448 minus 298 times minus 0 0.252 and that equals minus 2,373 kilojoules per mole, which we can then write on the answer line provided. To get the seven marks in this question, you get a mark for working out Q, you get a mark for working out your moles of butan 1 ol you get a mark for working out your delta H, which I've written here as minus 2,448, I've added the minus because it's a combustion reaction and that's exothermic. And then you get a mark for working out that delta S is your delta SP or your change in enthalpy of products minus your change in enthalpy of reactants. And then you get a mark for working out that that is minus 0 0.252. You get a mark for working out your Gibbs free energy or your delta G. The first mark comes from just stating the equation and all your and plugging the numbers in. Then your second mark comes from your correct typing in of the calculator and getting minus 2,373 kilojoules per mole.